Hey there, everybody. For those of you that are looking to learn how to make your own whiteboard application, whether you want it to be a web app or maybe even a mobile app, stay tuned. I'm covering the basics in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the channel for new content. Now, we are not going to need to know how to code because we will be using ChatGPT to help us in this video. So doing a quick demo, we'll click the free draw option just to show basically how this would work. So you'll see that we have drawn a line. Now we can draw a straight line. <clears throat> Maybe we want to draw another one. We could enter in some text. And then we have the ability, if we're interested, to change the background color. Maybe we want to make it something like this. Now we can export. We will have to export twice, and I'll explain why in a moment, but when we go and open the exported app or the exported image, you'll see that we have this file here. So pretty interesting option overall to kind of get this set up and working. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go through actually building this and then hosting it online. Now, <clears throat> when we're doing this, I use ChatGPT, and instead of going through each individual step, I'm going to do a high level overview and then just show the final product. So you'll see here that I said, you're gonna take the role of an expert programmer. And then I said, write me code for a web app and you can slow down the video or stop it. But basically I got the initial app here and it's just HTML uh, or it's just an HTML file that I will be using. And you'll see that the enter test option, which should say text. Now, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure if it wasn't working the main reason was I wasn't quite sure how it was expected to work. So when I enter the text here, when you hit enter, nothing happens. But when you click, that text is added wherever you're clicking. But regardless, um, I went ahead and just said that the text is not working. Additionally, the straight line option does not let the user draw. Then I got a revised version of the code. And then the straight line option at that point was clearing the canvas. So every time I clicked it and used it, it deleted everything. So then I got a revised version. Now I said, modify this to allow users to set the background of the canvas. Now, the reason I did this, and I really didn't think about this in the beginning, but I was expecting it would be a white canvas with black text. However, the exported option ended, basically ended up coming out kind of dark and that made it very difficult to see. So <clears throat> instead, I just said, let the user specify the color. Now this added some complexity, and basically I just said, rewrite the code to include everything so I don't have to edit. And then the export is done, the image does not have the background color. So ChatGPT revised the code, and then it broke the buttons, and now I get this final copy. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things that you could probably work with ChatGPT to figure out, but if I click here and add some text and click export, the export, which will appear here, you'll see the first one comes up with just this purple. But if I click export again, the second one will have everything. Not a huge deal, and I really don't want to go through kind of remaking that code because all in all, I think that this is a pretty solid start. Another cool thing is we can choose the size of these free draw options. So you'll see right here, we can make this slightly larger and we can do the same thing with the straight line as well. Now, you do need to be careful if you have the text here, it will do both at the same time. So uh, really, really simple thing to fix. And then again, <clears throat> you would hit export once and then hit export again. And then when we go, will have that final image. The idea here is if users want to just kind of take notes while they're doing something. Also, if you just want to self-host this and run this on your machine. So what I've done to run this is I used Notepad++ and I pasted in the final code ChatGPT gave me, and then I saved it to my desktop as index.html. So that was pretty straightforward. That's what I'm running right here. Now I'm going to show hosting it online. So I'll refresh this page, codelessfix.app slash test. This is where I just test random things. You'll see there is no page currently. So what I'll do is I'll take the index file, which just to show you is what we've been using. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it into this page here. And that will basically be this website now. And as you can see, upon refreshing, I can now use it. Now, I haven't selected anything, so nothing's happening just yet. I also have not tested the background image URL because that wasn't really something that I needed. But we'll try to free draw. 
Then we'll draw a straight line. Let's try increasing the size. And then let's just say, hey. And we dropped it in, so everything's working as expected. Let's try to change the background color. We'll make it maybe like a light blue. And set background. Now we'll see if the export works the same way as it did previously. So the first export is this color. And then the second export is going to be the one with all of the actual content. So <clears throat> you could work to kind of clean this up, maybe make it look a little bit more appealing. But all in all, this is fully functional. And honestly, probably took me maybe five to 10 minutes to get to this fully functional code. So you, again, you can check out the beginning of the video and slow it down to see what the prompts were. But the actual code itself is relatively straightforward. Once you get everything set up, you don't need to make many modifications. And you could always ask ChatGPT to make it look more appealing and maybe incorporate some CSS uh, styling to kind of enhance it a little bit. But all in all, as you can see, we can host this online. Now you may be wondering, okay, this is a web app or just a website. What about the mobile app thing that you mentioned in the beginning of the video? Well, to that point, I have a video on using AppGyver, which is a platform I've used. They have a community edition, which is currently free, and you can use it to build mobile apps of websites. So I'm going to put a link in the description to a video where I show how to turn a website into a mobile app. Now, this may or may not work with this actual content, but it is possible that it could or would. So you can check that out. Again, it's not a guarantee, but I think with some of the web apps, it could be possible. So again, you can check it out over in your free time in that in the description below, and I'll have other tutorials using ChatGPT as well as AppGyver. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.